The family of an 18-year-old woman who was raped and murdered nearly 25 years ago in Grand Rapids says that the effort to get the killer out of prison early is only exacerbating their pain and their grief. Mark Osborne serving a life sentence for killing 18-year-old Jessica Ledford in 1999. But a Michigan Supreme Court decision this month is giving Osborne a new chance at freedom. Yesterday, we spoke with the killer's attorney about why she believes he should get out early. And today, News 8's Byron Tollefson talked with Jessica's family about the toll that's taken on them. He's in studio now with more. Jessica Ledford's stepmother says she's told the killer that she's forgiven him for the murder, but she says that doesn't mean he should ever get out of prison. I forgive him, but I, we can't keep going through this. And if he is truly, truly sorry for what he's done, he needs to accept his fate. We've had to accept ours. We had no choice. Jessica Ledford would have turned 43 next week. She could light up a room, and I know you hear that a lot, but she really did. But a lifetime of promise was wiped away when she was just 18 at the hands of Mark Osborne. She, she had such a life ahead of her. She was killed two, three days before her high school graduation. Osborne was 17 in 1999. He admitted to raping and murdering her and leaving her at Highland Park in Northeast Grand Rapids. He was sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. He knew he was going to kill her. He knew he was going to rape her. And he did. And he left her in a park. What seemed like justice for Jessica's family has slowly eroded away when the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that mandatory life sentences are unconstitutional for juveniles, forcing past life sentences like Mark's to be reviewed again. Until this happened to us, I never truly believed that the justice system was gave the uh, perpetrators more rights than the victims, but now I know they do. His appeals in 2018 and 2020 were unsuccessful. But just days ago, the Michigan Supreme Court ordered Kent County Circuit Judge Mark Trusock to look at the case again, after a change in state law put the burden on the prosecution to prove that Osborne still deserves life in prison. A hearing is expected sometime next year when Jessica's family will once again have to relive the pain of her murder. That wound will never heal, but I wish he'd stop taking the scab off. Mark's attorney told News 8 on Tuesday that he was suffering from childhood abuse and neglect at the time of the crime. She says he's changed behind bars, behaving well, and deserves a chance at freedom. Jessica's family says that does not excuse what he did. Maybe he has been a model prisoner, but that, and I'm proud of him for that. I'm happy for him. But stop making us live this over and over and over again. He took her away from us once, and he's continuing to stab us over and over. The scene of the crime is a painful reminder for Jessica's family that they still don't have closure. I can't drive by the park. I drive two miles out of my way to get to work. Otherwise, I'd have to drive by the park every day. I can't do it. Her other sister, Janine, tells News 8 that the murder broke her soul, and she has nightmares of what happened to her every few months, experiencing this trauma over and over again. She says, quote, I hear her screaming. It's a horrible scream, and it's filled with horror and terror. No matter how hard I try, I can't get to her, and I can't find her, but I can hear her. The Kent County Prosecutor's Office has always argued for a life sentence. The prosecutor says they will review the case again soon.